Manchester, Tennessee, February the 9th, 1863. Dear Mrs. Hall, as an opportunity offers itself to send a letter through to you, I conclude to write to you feeling it is a duty to give you information in regards to Henry, who you have doubtlessly been informed and his fate on the field of Murfreesboro. He was killed almost instantly by a cannonball, passing through both thighs, severing his legs from his body on the 2nd of January. It being almost dark and us being compelled to retire from the field, I did not see him before he was killed, and I'm afraid his body fell into the hands of the enemy. I heard he was killed before the battle was over and tried to recover his body, but could not find him. I was very much grieved to leave him on the field, but under the circumstances, it could not have been otherwise. Henry and myself have associated together for several years and have always found in him to be a kind and faithful friend. You can imagine, Mrs. Hall, how much I am grieved for him. But we should not mourn now he is dead, knowing it was the hand of God that cut him down, and I hope, taking his soul from this world of sorrow until himself above, where he may enjoy eternal bliss. You must not grieve for Henry, but think only of the thousands of other mothers in your condition, made so by this implacable enemy, who seek to destroy our liberty and enslave us. Your son died a martyr, nobly laying down his life for his country. He was a good boy and a good soldier, and will ever live in the memories of his comrades whose fortunes it may be to survive this bloody war. I will close as I believe I have written all of which I know of the subject, painful as it is me to speak or even think of. Virgil was slightly wounded, but has recovered entirely and is in good health. Yours very truly, H.F. Knuckles, Lieutenant, 4th Kentucky. This has been a History Break, brought to you by City TV and the Stones River National Battlefield.